Hi there, YouTube family. It's Joni from Smiling Shrinkin', and I'm coming to you guys today on Thursday, December 21st, 2017, and I'm just doing a real quick cooking video. I know that um, sometimes I get a little bored of different kinds of protein, and I um, my best friend taught me this recipe, and it has been delicious, and so I thought I might share it with you guys, and it's just green chili pork and it cooks in the slow cooker. It takes about five minutes to put it together and it is delicious. So what I'm doing first, I have got, let me come down here. I bought one can of Rotel, which is just diced tomatoes with, oop, diced tomatoes with chilies and two little things of diced chilies. Um, I bought a little picnic pork. Uh, I'm so good at this direction. <laughs> um, picnic pork. I'm about to put seasonings on. I'm going to do granulated garlic, pepper, a little sea salt, um, onion powder, and chili powder. And I'm going to, oh, and hold on, and diced onions. Let me come over here. <laughs> I forgot to grab the onions. And they're just the little dehydrated onions. And um, I put them on the top and on the bottom. And then I'm going to put that in my slow cooker. So the first thing I did was I put half of my Rotel and one can of chilies on the bottom and got it started on low. And then I'm going to season up the meat and put that in and then cover it with the leftover Rotel and green chilies. And then you just let it cook low and slow all day long. The smell will drive you crazy because it smells amazing. Sometimes I eat the pork just plain. Sometimes I make a uh, enchilada casserole with um, the pork meat and I use corn tortillas because my DS tummy does fine with corn, not flour. And um, Or sometimes we'll just make little street tacos. Sometimes my husband will use them and make uh, like egg frittatas with the meat speckled in and cheese and eggs and it's delicious as well so I'm gonna get this started and then I'll film in one sec okay okay here we go I'm just gonna start by sprinkling it liberally with chili powder which has lots of flavor but not tons of heat sorry my aim is not so great I should put it on a tripod anyways um, a little bit of onion powder so it's not adding extra salt just flavor um, regular salt, which is just a little bit of sea salt on this side. Lots of pepper because that's how my husband and I, we roll lots of pepper and then granulated garlic. And I know this looks like quite a bit of seasoning, but it's going to cook in those peppers and tomatoes. <coughs> Excuse me. So you'll be glad that you have it. And I'm going to do that and kind of push it in with my handy dandy flipper <laughs> and that's because with raw pork I don't want to touch it I know I can wash up afterwards and I certainly will <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna flip this over and season up the other side and then I'm gonna just set them right in that slow cooker so hold on I need two hands <laughs> this part's big <coughs> excuse me got a little tickle going on in my throat sorry about that guys Anyways, just one more same spices, just the other side. That way you have nice flavor going on on all sides of the roast. And this is called a picnic pork. I picked it up at Winco. I don't know if you guys have Winco where you live. Stands for Washington, Idaho, Nevada, uh, Oregon, and California. <coughs> but it's a really cheap cut of meat. I think that both of these roasts, which it's like three and a half pounds, was like eight bucks so totally cheap in it and you just cook it low and slow I mean even with the extra cans of stuff I think I'm just ooh, that was a lot <laughs> anyways I'm at just under 10 bucks for the whole thing and it will just cook low and slow and I'm gonna film back when it's all done and show you how good it looks okay bye Okay, so you'll see the two roasts down in the crock pot. I am going to add a little bit more onion only because they fell off. And those are really good. They cook down and just get nice and melty and uh, flavorful without being too strong of flavor. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. That is everything all covered. I'm going to put it on low and slow. It's going to cook for about eight hours, and I've got errands to run, and I'm done with Christmas, but I've got a couple little errands to run and taxes to do, and so it's just going to be all the way done when I'm ready to have dinner. So there we go. I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Well, not a lot of hours. <laughs> Bye. 
Okay, you guys, it is about 4.45, so it's been a good eight hours since I started cooking. Here's what it looks like. I'm about to start shredding it, but I gotta figure out a way to get my camera to hold up so you guys can see how easy this thing falls apart. I wonder if I could do it one-handed. It's that easy. Let me look and see. If you see how this meat just is falling apart. Look at that. Oh, yum. That pork is just as tender as can be and that's just one-handed not even a two-hand shred hello hello anyways um what i'm gonna do is finish kind of flaking it wow that really does look so good i'm sorry <laughs> um i'm gonna keep just kind of going through it shredding it up into smaller pieces and then i'm actually gonna drain a little bit of the liquid out and leave the chunks in and i don't even like tomatoes i don't even particularly like peppers weirdo chili peppers but um the little flicks in there gives it such nice nice flavor look at that can you see that uh there's a tiny bit of fat in there i'm gonna just go ahead and take that piece out and throw it in the garbage because i know people do keto and everything but i don't want to eat fat it's just not my thing but all that meat is just so lovely and tender just fork tender look at that jeez anyways uh I'll stop talking <laughs> um, and I could show you when I make a little I guess it's kind of like a carnita Look at that. anyways what I do is I just take a little bit of the shredded pork with the veggies on it I take a corn tortilla and put a little bit of cheese on it and pan fry it just so it kind of like a quesadilla and then I slice a little bit of the the pork on it and close it up and it is so juicy and so flavorful but look how much meat this made ten dollars worth hello anyways uh okay so that is my recipe i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you'll try it and if you do leave me a comment let me know what you think like i said this is my best friend's recipe and uh it is awesome so <laughs> bye Okay, you guys, I'm about to sample the wares, so I make sure it tastes good. Mm. Oh, mm. it's so good. It's so good and so tender. Can you just see? It's just falling apart. So, so tender and so good. I'm going to try not to dribble on myself because <laughs> I'm a little messy. Mm, mm, mm. I wish you guys could come over. Okay. So, um... As far as the stats on it, I'm not really sure because it, it was three and a half pounds of meat and then just the Rotel and um, since I'm on maintenance, I'm not as careful on the tracking, but if you guys would really like me to, I could probably figure it out for you. So that's it for today. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.